Hey guys, it's Friday, and um, something just came to mind that I just wanted to talk about for all the, basically geared to the younger and newer players and people getting into the hobby that um, are painting their models. And the reason why I'm saying this is because I usually get a lot of my armies from eBay. Um, I usually buy armies, soldiers that are broken, they're in pieces, or they've been painted really, really bad. And what I've noticed is a lot of the really, really bad painting jobs that I see on these figures, uh, they're covered in four, three, four heavy base coats of paint, whether it's primer, whether it's a, a, a spray that, that like um, an enamel, uh, spray opposed to acrylic spray and so it's an oil based instead of a water based so what I wanted to do is I want to touch base for all you people who are just getting into the hobby just to keep you from getting discouraged um, when you look at magazines like White Dwarf or War Games you know illustrated and you see these these figures that are, are really painted well and you try to emulate those figures and you just can't get there and so you get discouraged Paul a lot of let me what you want to do is so you buy your figures right so we'll just say you went out and you bought yourself a box of space marines all right you open them up they're on a sprue now this is actually a frame this long piece right here is called a runner and that real tiny tiny piece right there that's your sprue okay that's just a nomenclature of the model itself so what you want to do is, when you get when you get your models, you open them up, you get them out of, if you want to rip them apart, leave them leave them on the frame. What you want to do is, you want to take that whole set that you bought, bring it to the sink, and you can either use a bucket, something like that, or a bowl. You know, if your wife or your mother allows you to, you know, use the stuff. But what you want to do is, you want to go to the sink. You want to use uh, dishwashing soap. You want to wash these frames, wash your figures in cold water, and get that uh, release agent off your figure, because they use release agents when they do the molds, and that actually leaves an oil film on it, which can inhibit the primer sticking to your figure. So what you want to do is you want to wash them and dry them off. Then the second thing you want to do is, with the directions in hand, something similar to this, okay, you want to take off any pieces that you're working on. Right now I'm working on a house and it's over there and it's already primed and as I take it off I look at the directions and I put it together, okay. So when I do that, some of the plastics have mold lines on them and the little doohickeys from the sprue. Now there's two ways of getting that off. You can either use the exacto knife, a modeling knife, and you can run it gently across the figure and it will take the mold lines off. Or if you don't want to use the modeling knife, you can actually use um, a file and you can actually file, file the mold lines off. So you, those are your two options right there. You have your model, you have your exacto knife, and your file. Okay, so you can use that. Now, you've washed your figures, you've stripped the mold lines down, and now you're ready for priming. And, and that's important because now priming is laying the foundation for your figure. That's important. Now. Army Painter, Army Painter makes a color primer of white, black, and gray. Citadel also, this is actually my best on red, but um, Citadel also makes primers of white, black, and gray as well. Now, gray is a neutral color. White is for brighter, and black is for dark colors. So if you want a light color figure, you want to use white. 
If you want a dark color figure, you want to use black. If you don't know what color figure you want, then you go with gray. Now, this is Krylon primer. And the thing about Krylon is, yes, it's made for plastic, but it's a very thick, thick primer. This is a thin primer, so you got to be careful. You want to test them out on made up terrain like this and that way you're not ruining your figure because what happens is if you spray i'll do for example let's take this right here and watch this is too close and you see how thick it is see how watery that is well you don't want that what you want to do is you want to be six six to eight inches away and you want to spray it very lightly short bursts and that as long as you can cover it see how I'm covering it that's good just like that okay that's what you want you don't want you don't want this because that look at how runny that is all right look at how nasty that is that's what inhibits you painting your models to your satisfaction and that, that's it's just so thick it just goes on nasty. So you, that's what you got to be careful of. And this is the, ba the, your painting of your models is based on your priming. How you prime. Six to eight inches away, a light color. And that's it. That's all you have to do. And that's going to give you a nice base coat. Otherwise, I shouldn't be doing this, but I am. Otherwise, you're going to end up with figures that you're not going to like. Like this right here. This, this is an enamel paint that was thick on this figure, and it's not coming off, even though I'm stripping it. Look at this. this look at how many coats of paint on this thing. Now, the more paint coats you put on it, the lot... Uh, the loss of detail and you're not happy with what you what you got and that's it guys that's about all I got it's just so priming is so important don't don't just use a, uh, an enamel paint like this black on a, on your plain plastic get yourself a nice a nice primer color from either Army Painter or Citadel. Go ahead and spend the 10 bucks, 11 bucks for it. It's worth it. This is, I think, it's like five bucks as a primer, but it's a very thick gray primer, which is more for industrial use than small miniatures. You know, and then it comes out crappy. So you don't want to do that. And I think you'll, I think you will, um, I think you'll enjoy painting figures better. You won't get discouraged, and you'll stay in the hobby. It's a wonderful hobby. It really is. It's relaxing, and then oh, you build up your uh, you build up your collection, and you get all kinds of neat stuff. And um, that's just the way it is, you know. <laughs> it's tough. It really is. It's 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 a it's a cool hobby, but it's like anything. You got to practice. The more you practice, the better off you get. You know, so don't get discouraged, and just remember, less is less is better. Okay, the less paint you put on a model, the better off you are. Thin coats, you use thin coats, and you work your way up. You know, like here, here I'm working on this young lady right here, and you can actually see that there's only one coat of green over this primer, where this one actually has several coats of green over the primer and you can see the difference and that's all it is just take your time and that's it all right guys you have a good one and um i hope this helps you guys who are new to the hobby don't get discouraged and there are actually pre-made paint sets out there that you can pick up you don't have to buy them singly like this you can actually go to Barnes and noble they have the space marine uh paint set out there uh, they got a blood bowl paint set out there 
army painter has paints that go to your nearest hobby store and talk to the guys behind the counter. They're more than happy to help you out. They'll get you on the road where you want to go. Um, this is, I just primed this house right now. I used a white primer here and I did a, after I primed the roof, I'm going to paint it red and I'm going to put um, a uh, wash on it and we'll go from there. But that's just, this is just a start. This is a foundation. There's the original color right there. And that's what it looks like there. And that's just the foundation, okay? And then uh, you just go from there. So I, I hope this helps you out a little bit. And I'll see you out there. Be good to each other and have fun. Enjoy.